seen from them on defense so far? Uh, you know, obviously, they're uh, for years. You know, they've been known as you know an odd stack defense, and and you know certainly give you a lot of different issues from a coverage standpoint. And um, I think you see a lot of toughness. Um, you know, I think they're obviously they're well coached. They, you know, being in that system for such a long time, and and then I think you see great defensive speed. It's him like seeing what Haycock's defense has been able to do for you guys. Is it what? What's it like seeing what it's, that that group's able to do? It's awesome. You know, I think the you, coach Haycock. Uh, you know, I've been around him for a little while, and. Um, I just respect him so much, you know, as a young football coach to be able to be around him and uh, just, you know, ask him for advice, um, to watch him, the way that he handles uh, the staff, you know, the way that he, you know, he, he always gives you a little bit more than just football, you know, and I think he's always been uh, kind of the guy, even as, you know, young coaches when we were at Toledo, you know, for Coach Campbell, I think he's just, He's always been the guy that you, you, you bounce it off of, just the amount of experience that he's had and, you know, how grounded he is and, and what he does and such a great family man. And, you know, I, it, it's just been awesome to see the reward of that come. And then I think it's just been awesome to watch his players uh, buy into not only, I think, his belief, you know, defensively, but the staff's belief, you know, and um, those guys have really taken on the personality of their coaches. And I think that's been really cool to watch. Um, you know, and I remember watching Coach Haycock's uh, defenses, you know, at Youngstown State when I was a little kid and uh, always, you know, kind of remember just the togetherness and the way that they rallied to the football. And it's just been really awesome to see and really happy for those kids. How much does that take the pressure off you guys knowing every single time you get the ball, you don't have to score? Well, I think that's what Coach, you know, I think it's, it's Coach Campbell's vision of playing team football. And, uh, you know, obviously I think that, you know, we, we always have to do our part and have to understand what's going on in the game. And it does. It takes a tremendous amount of pressure off, I think, of all units of your football team, uh, whether it's offense, defense, special teams. I think it's just it's uh, it, it, it really is. It's 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 a great thing with Bryce out for a little bit now. How has Sean kind of adjusted to being the guy? I know he's played a lot of. Snaps, yeah, but yeah, he, he's he's done a great job, I think. You know, Sean, um, the one thing I appreciated about Sean was when when Bryce was playing more, um, I think we've continued to see his growth and his, uh, you know, his passion to play, you know, it has never went away, which sometimes that happens, you know, when you're in a really tight race and, you know, one guy was maybe playing a little bit better. Um, I thought Sean had a great practice today. He was really locked in and, and asking questions and, uh, you know, so I'm happy for him. No, Sean got that one start. Has that just, was that pretty much just the idea of, Going week to week, who's who's playing best at that? Yes, tone? sir. Yes, sir. Kind of the last couple uh, games, the offense hasn't scored in the second half. Is that a matter of uh, what the defenses are throwing at you, or something you can do to be a little more consistent on that front? I think it's everything. You know, I think there's times maybe we were inconsistent, times that people have been able to take things away, and then I think there's times that we had to be intelligent with what kind of decisions that we were making. What are some of the things? looking at yourself mostly to to be more consistent, I guess, to repeat myself? Uh, you know, I think we got to execute better at times. I think we've got to call better plays at times. And I think that's whether you're scoring in the second half or not scoring in the second half, I think that's always the case is what are you doing well and what aren't you doing well? West Virginia has the 106th best rushing offense in the nation, allowing over 330 yards a game. Are you going to try to exploit that at all? Say that again? I hope, you know, I hope so. You know, I think that's always our goal is to be able to, you know, to do what the defense will allow us to do. Um, and, you know, if it's running it, hopefully that's the case. Um, and if it's throwing it, hopefully that's going good too, you know. So, um, you know, we always take the approach of, of trying to do the best that we can do, um, whether it's throwing it or running it. And, and certainly if we have the ability to do that, we would, we would like to do that. Thanks, man.